Welcome to Asset Plant Machinery. Today we're going to overview our Johnson Deburra Lidishing Machine. This is our SG630, so it's a 630 wide. It's a wet and can also be used as a dry lidisher, but mainly as a wet lidishing machine. Fantastic for uh, deburring and lidishing uh, any CNC plasma, uh, laser, and even just general parts. Uh, if you're taking off the, you know, the, uh, the lag off the back of uh, plasma cut and laser cut parts, uh, so it's good for giving that finished overall product that you need to actually go into the, the next operation. So let's run through some features. Uh, just turn this on, the operations there. So we've got um, turning the belts on and then also the fan just over here. Uh, so it's got a touch screen here, so PLC control that can actually operate the thickness and also the speed. As you can see there, uh, the belt's actually working now itself. Uh, we've got little things like um, of the hose down there for hosing down or sort of pre pre washing down. But just a very good solid industrial machine for uh, processing the material. I'll set this up and sort of run this through, and then Kayla will take you through and run you through the general uh, application there. So, simply gets material that's been preset to the, uh, the material thickness, and that's going to run through now and start to finish. Now while that's going through there, Caitlin will take us through the general operations of the PLC control. So um, I've got on seal this control, we've got access to a couple of things, we've got manual control of uh, all the access that we've got here. More or less what we've got on our controller here is to set our plate thickness. Um, so you set the plate thickness generally a fraction below what you're doing and this will give you a nice finish. It's going to take all the slag that we have on this piece off the back of it. Um, generally, the slower you run it through, the, the better the outcome, of course. Um, and if you're not happy with it, you can always run it through once more. Um, but you can be doing multiple parts at a time, because more or less, once you've got some space in the conveyor, you can whack another part uh, straight on there, and that'll feed straight through to the other side, and you can obviously recover the parts at the other side. So, on the control panel, it's very simple to use. You basically just program in the material thickness that you're running um, and let it position and then more or less you can set up your conveyor speed with the control on the front here and you can let that run through. So um, you definitely want to be using the core if you're running heavy parts or lots of parts because you do generate quite a lot of heat um, during the process. So uh, we'll see, see if it comes out that the side. See this to the side there, you can see it's working its way through now. Uh, so the finished part is feeding out the reel, so that's more or less clean the largest lag off. You could potentially run this through one more time, and it would basically clean the, the finishing edges off, and you'd end up with a finished part. It just depends how far you want to go. Okay, it's 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 there's an example of the finished part, so that's been run through uh, once or twice, Kayla. Yeah, that's right. But uh, as I said, we've just run this through just as an example to show you how that machine works. But there's a general overview of the finished product that the Johnson machine can actually offer you. That's right. So jump on to asset plans on and find our range of Johnson operations.